Coming up, you're going to discover how to get keywords ranked on Google Play. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go. You know the drill. When you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I got a message. Now, I don't always respond to this, so I don't want to get a flood of messages, but I got a message on Facebook from somebody who was in the audience. He said, hey, got an app on Google Play, just launched, not showing up for any keywords whatsoever. Please help. And so I said, all right. If you let me record a video out of this, I'm willing to help you with this. And so that's what this video is all about. I'm gonna analyze his app on Google Play and make suggestions on how to grow downloads and then improve the actual keywords that he's using. So without further ado, let's get into the presentation. So here is the app called Inspirational Quotes. And as you can see, he's targeting keywords, inspirational quotes, motivational quotes, love quotes, quotes in general as the app. I'm gonna link this up into the show notes so that you guys can get a sense of what he's trying to, or the app itself. But right now, at a high level, when I see this type of thing, it's just, you're going to, you're going after the obvious. All right, like stop going after the obvious. So I'm going to explain a little bit later because I put a little ASO template here for him. But one thing that I want to point out too is I am using a Chrome plugin that allows me to see the sub, the short description on Google Play. So you guys can find it. Just look up Google Play short description. It's from the tool guys, the ASO tool guys. So really cool. That way I can see the short description of all apps on Google Play. So as you can see, you know, he's got it properly optimized for that keyword, but he doesn't have that many reviews and doesn't have that many downloads, right? So what you, and you probably don't have a budget to drive those downloads either. So you're stuck. So what do you, what should you do? I have no money. <laughs> I feel like I've optimized it properly. What can I do? So here's my secret, right? You build a long list of keywords. This is the same exact process that I do on iOS. And then people say, oh, you do, do you do Google Play? I'm like, heck yeah, I do Google Play. We've got some amazing success stories on Google Play. One client increased downloads by 55%. Another client, which was a bigger client, we increased it by like 10% on Google Play. So for here, here's what the things that we're gonna talk about. And that 10% is huge. We save them like $3,000 a month, okay? It's like 3,000 downloads a month. All right, here's, getting back to this, let's get this. So with these keywords, what I did was I just pulled up all the keywords. So I put up motivation, daily motivation. I wanted to see what people might be searching for. So I put motivation and then I saw like, okay, what other keywords is Google Play auto-suggesting? And these become potential keywords or daily, right? Okay, cool. Daily motivation, daily inspiration. So now I'm pulling all these keywords and I'm also thinking through like, what else could people be searching for? So one was positive affirmations, right? or positive thinking, cool. The miracle worker, or I'm sorry, the miracle morning, which is a sort of motivational book about this. So like what other books are around motivation? Because I wanna, these might be potentially keywords that I target if they have a good enough traffic score, right? And then here's my recommendation always, go use both tools, Sensor Tower and Mobile Action. Here's why. If you look at Sensor Tower, the difficulty scores, nothing is low competition, nothing, right? Everything is difficult. That can't be the case, right? So with mobile action, you got keyword options that have low competition, which are high chance scores, okay? Like positive affirmations. So get this. And why I like using two tools is now actually mobile action is getting better, but mobile action scores, search scores weren't that great. But now as you can see, they're getting closer because like this quote of the day, 2.5 versus 52, I believe the 2.5. I believe the sensor tower score because I did ASO for a client and we got like tons of app rankings. Like these, you know, increase. We're in the top four for a bunch of keywords. We saw minimal downloads increase and on sensor tower, their search traffic scores were 0 0.5. So that was just my assumption that mobile action scores are let, or sensor tower scores traffic scores are more accurate 
on Google Play than mobile action. But as you can see on this spreadsheet, they're getting a lot closer together. So here are the keywords I would be targeting. Positive affirmations, right? Positive thinking, positivity. These are the keywords that I'd be targeting in my app name and short description rather than inspirational quotes. Because let's look at inspirational quotes. Do we even have in here? Right here, right? Good search traffic, obviously, but really high competition, even on Sensor Tower and Mobile Action. So it's gonna be really hard to rank for that particular keyword. So you have to find ones that are not as competitive and that have decent traffic scores, like positive affirmations. And then motivational, even motivational quotes or motivation quotes are better than inspirational quotes. So that's the easiest way to do this is like, oh, positive affirmations, boom. That's what I'm gonna call my app rather than inspirational quotes. So I might rename my app now positive affirmations maker or generator. And then the screenshots need to change. Like this is really nasty looking. So I would change the screenshots on this and you have an iPhone <laughs> on the play store. So definitely change that. Yeah, these screenshots need to change. So like here, here's what I would say too, right? It says, choose the best sayings and status over 50 categories. That's not, like, I would lead with the, the description. I always lead with the keywords that I'm targeting. So now it would be, you know, change your habits, positive affirmations to, to make you happier, whatever. Something like that, because now I'm targeting positive affirmations and positive thinking, and I'm leading with this. So this is gonna change to positive affirmations generator or quotes, right? So. I'm gonna have that and I'm gonna have thinking as well. So I'm gonna have positive affirmations and thinking in my app name. I'm gonna have it in my short description as well. And then the screenshots need to change. I'm gonna have it as a first couple of words in my app long description too, okay? And then you say collection of 5,000 plus quotes from more than 500 people around the world. I think you find the quotes and then you can generate it. So I'm not sure how that works. That is, no. Yeah, maybe you get the quotes, but you don't get the pictures. So maybe you just get really cool quotes. So I think that's, that's the simple change that I would make. And then obviously he's doing some things about like trying to rank for Albert Einstein quotes, you know, Abraham Lincoln quotes. That's good and all, but this is this could probably use some rework as well. And then other than that, I think it looks good. So net net, like if you're if you don't have a budget, pull the data. You need the data to figure out which keywords are worth tracking. And based off of what I'm seeing already right now, it seems like I would use I definitely use mobile action on Google Play, and it's gotten a lot better. Before, I didn't trust the traffic scores at all, but now the traffic scores are actually pretty close to what Sensor Tower is saying. So I'm pretty sure both are, now mobile action is starting to be a lot more accurate than Sensor Tower. So that's it. Hope that was useful. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment so I know if people are watching. And then lastly, I wanna promote App Masters Academy. We just increased the prices on this, so I apologize. No, I don't apologize. You guys waited too long. But we just increased the prices, but it's one low monthly fee for $49 a month. You get access to our entire playbook. Got a ton of great members already in it. I'm trying to build a community outside of it. I'm trying to hire somebody first and then trying to build a community for all the members so that we can all talk to each other and help each other out. But if you want to see our entire playbook to see how we do ASO on Google Play, on iOS, all the different growth hacks we have, how do you try to get a feature on Google Play? It's a brand new module that's up there. Get All you have to do is check out appmastersacademy.com, appmastersacademy.com. And if you want one, more one-on-one -on -one access to me, there's a coaching package in there that'll give you access to the academy along with coaching calls with me so I can show you step-by-step -step how I would execute for you. And you have all the courses to go ahead and execute yourself. Got a lot of great case studies in there already and I hope you become one of them. Check it out at mastersacademy.com. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video.